great news is coming from the world's largest car maker. The crossover version of the most popular car model in the world is getting a mid-cycle refresh. It gets a new front-end design with new headlights, a new grille, and many more. Moreover, interior updates are coming as well, especially in terms of new, bigger screens. So make sure to stay with us because we're taking a look at the new 2025 Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid, which brings a set of novelties that will shock the competition. Much needed facelift The Corolla Cross is a relatively fresh model. It was introduced as the 2022 model, but somehow it never managed to draw our attention because of its dull styling. Just like a typical Corolla, the Corolla Cross stands out as a trustworthy companion, one of the most dependable cars you can buy on the market. It's cheap to run, while its hybrid powertrain makes it quite peppy. But at the same time, many things were missing, particularly in terms of styling, so we are happy to share with you that the 2025 model is getting much-needed styling updates. The refreshed model was presented a few months ago in Thailand, and from today's perspective, it's almost certain that the same version will be coming to North America. The officials are still quiet, but our insiders suggest such a scenario. In any case, the new model has a lot of things to show styling-wise. The first thing you'll probably notice is the new fancy-looking grille design with a honeycomb pattern. What makes it stand out is the fact that it's not particularly prevalent, but rather blends with the rest of the bodywork. Then you'll easily notice a completely new headlight design, as well as a wide lighting bar that connects the two headlights. Then there are a couple of new, much larger and vertically oriented air vents positioned right below the headlights, which add a bit of sportiness. All in all, the change is quite noticeable and leaves a great impression. As for the rest of the vehicle, things will rather remain the same, although there's plenty of room for some new details, such as new wheel designs and color options. Furthermore, new appearance packages are also always welcome, and we all know how Toyota has been generous with unique appearance packages lately. Another thing worth considering is the relation between the hybrid and gas-only versions. So far in North America, the two models featured a little bit different front-end designs. But some sources suggest that this won't be the case anymore and that the new models will come with a unified design approach. New Styling – Proven Mechanics With the new styling, we have no doubt that the 2025 Corolla Cross will attract more potential buyers, but at the same time, it's great to know that the mechanical aspect is about to remain the same. After all, this is just a mid-cycle refresh, so next year's model will continue to ride on the same GAC iteration of the well-known TNGA platform. Essentially, it's the same platform that underpins the CHR, but the Corolla Cross shares most of its parts with the classic Corolla sedan. That's easiest to see through the suspension setup, as this crossover comes standard with a torsion beam in order to provide more cargo space and save costs. Still, those who put more focus on ride quality will be happy to know that all-wheel drive models come with multi-link independent rear suspension. The hybrid is no exception, and it's actually pretty engaging to drive thanks to quite a peppy setup that includes three electric motors. Just like the pre-facelifted model, the new one will continue with ventilated discs at the front and classic discs on the rear wheels, while the relatively decent ground clearance of around 8.1 inches even promises a bit of off-road potential. Interior Updates Another aspect of the Corolla Cross that desperately needs updates is the interior. The current model, no matter if you pick an entry-level version or some higher trim, looks cheap. It's easy to notice that most of the cabin is wrapped with low-rent materials, and wherever you look, you will find cheap plastics predominantly. Moreover, the cabin isn't particularly generous with tech features either, considering that the best you can get is a 7-inch instrument cluster, for example. Well, the good news is that next year's model is about to bring some notable improvement. When you look at the Thailand market version, you can notice nicer color schemes, while the company also claims that nicer materials are installed. We can't know that until we encounter the new cabin, but what we know and can see clearly are the new tech features. Namely, the presented model came with a much larger 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, as well as a 10.1-inch infotainment screen, so we have no reason to believe that the US market version is going to be any different. All in all, we're pretty sure that the updated model will look more upscale from the inside. But even the current cabin, although cheap-looking, doesn't disappoint when it comes to comfort. 
The front seats are well shaped and provide a high level of comfort while the amount of space and level of adjustability are pretty decent too. The second row is typical for the class, great for kids and relatively decent for adults. And while some may complain about the rear seat legroom, there is really no room for criticism when it comes to the cargo area. With the rear seats up, the cargo volume goes up to 21.5 cubic feet, while the total volume with the second row down goes up to 61.8 cubic feet, which is quite respectable for the segment of small hybrid SUVs. Powertrain as we've already mentioned, the mechanical aspect of the 2025 Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid will remain the same, and this also refers to the engine, which is easily the biggest strength of this small SUV. Namely, Toyota installs a couple of electrified setups in this crossover, depending on the market. In North America, there's only room for the most capable one, based on a 2-liter inline-four engine instead of the more common 1.8-liter engine. The engine comes coupled with three electric motors, so it doesn't surprise that the maximum output goes up to nearly 200 horsepower. More precisely, the combined output is rated at around 196 horsepower, which is, considering the SUV's size and weight, plenty enough to ensure strong performance. After all, all-wheel drive is standard and ensures good grip in all conditions, so the fact that the Corolla Cross needs just a little bit over 7 seconds to hit 60 doesn't come as a surprise at all. Do you think that's peppy enough for such a small crossover? Let us know in the comments. Now back to the subject, even the eCVT transmission works pretty well in combination with this engine. Power delivery is smooth and the engine doesn't seem all that loud at heavy acceleration at all. Meanwhile, the steering is well weighted and the handling is actually pretty decent, though it's miles away from the most engaging in the class. The ride is rather smooth and comfortable and we have nothing against that. Still, if there is room for complaints, we would definitely point out the brakes because they feel a little bit squishy and unpredictable, while stopping distances aren't impressive either. Somehow, the brake feel is much better with the gasoline model. Speaking of the gasoline version, the brakes are probably the only advantage over the hybrid. The naturally aspirated engine feels pretty lazy and needs to be revved up to show some character. But, as it also comes with continuously variable transmission, this also means a lot of noise under heavy acceleration. And the acceleration is anything but great, considering that the gas-only version is 2 seconds slower compared to the hybrid if we talk about 0-60 to 60 times. Then comes the fuel economy, where the best you can get with the gas model is 33 miles per gallon on the highway with the front-wheel drive mode. All-wheel drive models return around 29 miles per gallon in the city and 32 miles per gallon on the highway, which is miles away from the hybrid, which comes exclusively with an all-wheel drive setup. The electrified Corolla Cross returns around 45 miles per gallon in the city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway. And it isn't just superior to the gas-powered Corolla Cross, it is also one of the best ratings in the class. Safety Upgrades Toyota has always been known as a company that puts so much focus on safety, and the Corolla Cross is no different, as it comes packed with all kinds of advanced driver assistance features as a part of the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 suite. Now that the Japanese carmaker has introduced the 3.0 version, we presume we could see it in the updated Corolla Cross. Compared to the previous version, the new Safety Sense brings a couple of quite interesting updates. For example, the pre-collision system has been updated with enhanced intersection support and improved detection range. For the first time, it can also detect motorcycles in some circumstances. Then, the Lane Departure Alert is now able to detect 3D objects to define the lane, while the Adaptive Cruise Control no longer offers four distance settings instead of three. The Road Sign Assist has been updated too and now recognizes more traffic signs than before. Still, the biggest novelty is the feature called Proactive Driving Assist. It's an all-new system that helps drivers in tricky situations. It can help in three different ways and make the ride easier. It can anticipate obstacles and it can provide steering and gentle braking. So we have no doubt it'll be a valuable addition to the list of Corolla Cross features. Release Date and Price as mentioned, the refreshed Corolla Cross has been presented in Thailand and it all indicates that the US market version will come as a 2025 model. Therefore, we expect that the new Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid could be launched sometime in the second half of the year, most likely next fall. 
As for the price, the current model starts at around $29,000, but we're pretty sure that with all these updates, as well as the ongoing trend of price increases in the whole automotive industry, the next year's model will feature a little bit higher starting price. How much exactly is still hard to say. What do you think of the new 2025 Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid? Does it finally look attractive enough to attract wider masses, not just those looking for a cheap and reliable ride? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe because many more car previews and reviews, as well as the latest news from the automotive industry, are coming. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.